destroy for flesh wars. Flesh wars to enjoy and balance. Yeah, just let, let's just play normal. <coughs> Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds. Great long fluffy bastards. Low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss. In the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. Good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something is bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And they shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Atea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life <coughs> to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say. And death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden <laughs> scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed.
You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. I think I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim, faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. W and E. Dang. Look so far so good. The graphics. Pretty huge map. I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. Hmm. Can you do it? Steady enough. Well, that was not steady. <laughs> oh. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Let me Over see. Ego see a ladder here. Yeah, we can't use that. I can break my uh, way through here. Destroy the breakable. Oops. Workable elements. <coughs> okay. Which elements? Doesn't say anything. Ah, here it is. I see. I don't think I can swim though. Let's not. Oh, that ship is. Oh, let's try it. Ah, uh, okay. If no jump, you just need to press E and then the jump over automatically. Mm. Oh, can I like toggle? Oh yeah, I can toggle. All right. You call this a fight? Yeah, like, okay, that's the dodge button. Everything all right cool. There. Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same. So far, so good. Hey, what? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside? I think town? I need to wait or until they don't watch uh, the chat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Their cousin. As far as that is New Eden Town has gone on long enough. You tried, you tried. All you could to make it work. You built something there. If the words you send me are true, then by God take your wife and your precious children. Pack your belongings and will leave that ungodly place. Come to Providence and will live with us. There is farm work here. And Simon and I will gladly take you into you find a place of your own. Please, I am begging you. Come to us, where family and the children will be safer here. John James, Providence, age September 694. All right. Mm. Go under here. I wonder, like, you have an inventory, you have stuff. Evolution Chronicles, what is this? Oh, it's probably like chapters or something, I guess. Oh, on button. Yeah. All right. Hey. <coughs> uh, 
Okay, so don't, I don't have to hold. Oh, that's pretty annoying. Let's see if I can change that sprint. Um, probably not. I like like to hold the shift button, but here you have to tap your uh, shift button and then tap it again. I don't really like that option. Well, look like I need to press it and then press it again to stop it. I just want that I will lease it and then stop it. it. Should be an option, right? For expensive game like this. Oh, more wonders. Behind you. No, that was sick. Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. All right. I think I'm getting close to uh, to where? The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever. Now I can jump from here. All right. Oh. Well. Attacking with your weapons fill the banish guard. When the banish guard is full, press E to banish your target. Time to leave. All right. Oh, that's sick. That, that's just what he did. Alright. So far, so good the game. Only... It's a... It's bad of the... Um, the shift button. A note. Damp and bloody. Perhaps this word will be lost in time. But I must write them. The date. I cannot say. I know it's the month of June in the year 1695. I thought we would be saving. In providence, I thought we would finally see the children again, and the golden wheat fields will ring with the laughter. The mother now lies dead, and I shall join her soon. Something insidious walks the roads. Terrible spirits took us. New Eden is cursed. You who read this now, I tell you, one. All right. The people left New Eden Town so just a I few need to days win, ago. Right? What exactly is going on here? Oh, hell no, we're not gonna win. Okay, so destroying stuff can give you some items. Right. Good to know, good to know. Hey, there's a lady here. I think she died. Okay. Oh, hold and deal to charge the All right. Enough. <sighs> Sorry. That all goes badly for the case. Hey. Situation is worse than you thought. Well, this here. Let's wait to hear what Charles. <coughs> Empty docks in a growing settlement. Nothing but a good sign. Other times, selectmen sitting on their asses. Isn't that what selectmen do? Press shift to sprints. Hmm. New Eden Town. Well, welcome in committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? Ooh. Esther wouldn't dare, and we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. 
I, I remember you telling her. Area of investigation. You have reached the location of your current objective. The combat compass now in indicates that you are inside an area of investigation. Look for the inn. All right, so I have to follow my compass, right? <coughs> All right. Oh, oh, you have a save button. That's nice. good to know. Okay. Um. Well, compass is not like saying where I need to go. It's just saying that I need to be in this area. So I need to still press, like tap to see where I need to go. So I need to go to the left this now. Must be the end. Oh wait. All right. I need to get in here. So I need to get closer to it. All right. Good to know. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Pour us a drink. <laughs> Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is <coughs> good you're serving, you know, I sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is thick skinned Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. <laughs> we'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us. Sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The mad, eh? woman can be <clears throat> brusque. Forgive her. Rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing. We are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely with their expertise we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, yous may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave, or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how we found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. I have no timer for this. We think I've been put to. That's this one. What do you think happened? I could guess. It's a little use. We 
It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in no. my youth, I too uh, was something it. of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Hmm. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that, like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company. <coughs> as the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock. As Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Perhaps we may come to you for advice. Please do, madam. For I would be only too glad to give it. Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago when many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken. Perhaps forever. Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements. Anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the path through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. All right. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right. For Charles. <coughs> Damn. 
We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Oh. So we can still talk with him. Pick some stuff, maybe. Let's search this house. Oh, there's something. Ins owner notice as announced at the last town hall meeting. I hereby close the King's Arms Tavern, leaving the key to the selectmen. There shall be no ill, so not drunk until the curse is lifted. I return the storerooms are locked, and so are the bedrooms. God bless. Charity Kugel. Okay. Let's see upstairs what's there. This one's locked. We need keys. Something at least. That. Found some silver. Can we like jump over here? No, we can't. Meet us at the Davenport at last. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, oh, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. I thought Ud idiots will be no, a bit rude. Let's not do that. Hey, you're blocking me, man. I've barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well read and educated. But at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He is an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin knew Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, 
he said, that time and God have not yet healed. Mm. How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. What? We'll take a look around, if that's all right. Let's see if there's any information about Charles. May I be of any help? Oh, you stay put. We'll find a way. If unlock your first hint. It contains important information about the person you just linked. You can refer to this hint at any given moment to your haunting cases on tab. Oh, that's the haunting cases. Okay. Uh, Charles zero of the two and Esther one of the two. Inf investigate the study and investigate the bedroom. Okay, but first I want to see this. A new scotch tune G major by Henry Purcell. Right. Purcell. Understand why ghosting is in the incorrect. Better? You must get a hint about each involved today. inhabitant. I can't believe you brought your Once the hints have been all, all been uncovered, the inhabitants' key. intent is disclosed. That you cannot and, part a pianist uh, from their beloved keys. Letter from Eleanor Combs, November 1694. My dearest Charles, how delighted I was to read your words. It is always a pleasure to hear from you and to know that yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I've contacted our brothers in London, but unfortunately we could not find anything in our chiefs that matches the description of the even events you have experienced in New Eden. Be that as it may, pestilence and never-ending winters are a phenomenon perhaps too broad for us to pinpoint the exact cause. I can give you no better answer, be it surgery, the sense of an echo, or something else entirely we cannot say. All I can do is invite you to continue your research and to take note of all of your observations. A brotherhood, St. Paul's, still has to so little presence in the new world. Any new information shall be precious indeed. Please stay safe, my friend. Yours truly, Elena. Elinor comes. All right. I didn't All know right. Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The Saint Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager <coughs> to continue his research here <coughs> in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me, that was nice of him. No, that's not. Letter from a neighbor. Esther, some food and air for you. Sorry for your loss. The neighbors hold you in the heart. All right, so here's two things. Printed book, a study of H. Purcell's Chaconi in G minor for strings by E. Davenport. All right, and this one. Music essay, sentence in interval, or a city of the Aeolian scale by Heinrich Petri. E -O -U -E Alien? I don't know how to say that. Sorry, guys. Um, there's still two things here. Bundle of letters from Charles. Hey. Fifth day of January 1685. My beloved Esther. How I long to hold you in my arms. The announcement of our marriage was to my heart as a delicious, uh, delis, 
delicacy on my palate, a sweet of which one cannot tire at last. We shall be together and to together forever and ever until the day many years from now when we are old and at last dead separate us. For only death can extinguish the love between us. And I'm sure that not even death can undo the tenderness I feel for you. I want everything to be perfect for our marriage. And I will make it so I will write to you every day until that last moment. When I can finally shed the weight of letters and tell you in person. Every day how I feel about you. I'm thinking of you. Your love forever. Charles. Alright, alright. That's a love note. Let's see the other one. Bundle of letters from Charles. My sweet uh, of 21st day of February 1687. My sweet guest, I can tell you how much I, lo I long to get home. This work in the mystical Scottish Highlands is exciting. I can't argue with that, but I miss the sweetness of her home. However, I know that the few months I have left away from your love in arms. <clears throat> will be a great benefit to me. With this experience, I will increase my knowledge and all this I do to protect you from those dark worlds that throw around us. It is your love and trust that pushes me into these mysterious entrenchments that push me to do my best. It is for you that I do this. But when I can see the pride in your eyes, then I know what will I play on this earth. I know that I can be stronger. I know I can do anything as long as you look at me with that spark that is only yours. I'm thinking of you. Your love forever, Charles. Alright, alright. Um, yeah, we did everything here. Let's see upstairs. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back. A ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Yeah, that is unbearable. Oh, where do nightmares come from? <coughs> where do nightmares come from? I remember the teaching of my masses. May God bless their souls. Against the threatening unknown, when the common knowledge is not enough to understand the situation, Sagacious and pious man will rush return to the fairy woods of his art. The words, the meaning, and the power hidden in each of them. Nightmare has nothing to do with a nocturnal female horse, as in the French Ochimo or the German Nachtma. Mer, her, comes from the 12th century middle Dutch and means ghost or demon. A nightmare is not a penny fiend sneaking into the bedrooms to suffocate the dreamers, but one. Of the rarest and most powerful spirit defined by its only purpose to spread its insidious and unforgiving word upon any living soul it may reach. According to my research, research uh, no oculist, oculists ever successfully banished a nightmare. But why will a nightmare be more than a ghost? I'm afraid so. I remember a disturbing poem I read in London in my younger years about the terrifying abilities of such entities supposedly able to penetrate the dreams of its targets to influence the thoughts and perception and make them endure the worst fear able even to bend the distance or alter time creating tantalizing and pers personalized nightmare its victims can't hope to escape from such a petrifying concept i pray god with all my heart and soul that this is not what has risen upon us how will we then escape despair that and doom i need more information but where do we find them charles davenport all right charles davenport bush a silver bush habitually worn by charles davenport engraved with a distant distinctive three-headed sword all right charles always wore this brooch these things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Hmm. That's weird. Children's psalm. Low children are an heritage 
of the Lord and the fruit of the womb. This is reward Psalm 127. Three. Doctor's notes: three drops of lavender oil in camel camel mouth infusion before sleep. Wind to green to rub between palms and behind ears three times a day. If restlessness persists, use lemon balm. Evelyn. And send letter to Esther's sister. My dear sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has come and done. Nothing happened as it's supposed, supposed to. I cannot attend the burial, the shame of it. How I have failed my dear husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died. There to see him buried. Lord have mercy on us, and guide our friends to us before it is too late. New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect us. I do not have any words, a words left in me, but I thought that you loved him so. Shall know of his passing, my love. I saw. All right. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That was a hint. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made it manifest. Maybe. But there has to be more to it. Yeah, let's inspect Remember this. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there? You actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. <laughs> Investigate the study. I thought it was there, but probably not. Maybe here. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. Chest piece. A precious king from a chest set protected by a glass dome. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? Oof. Can I like press or something? Oh, that's just a map. Okay. Oh, that's all. Scribble Bible first. Job 7, 30, 15. 30, when I say my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints. 14, then those carries me with dreams and terrifies me through visions. 15, so that my soul choose strangling and dead rather than my life. She comes to me in my dreams. Charles's notes mention Job chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Mm hmm. Okay, I'll check that out. There's a called book from Charles' personal collection, Not Fur, Toten by Balthasar Hans Brenhoven. German? Okay. Charles notes None on this side of the water, and a few on the other know that I. Came to New Eden as minister in order to pursue research into the new world on behalf of the Brotherhood of Saints Paul saw. And what strangeness have I found? There are ghosts here, yes, old and innumerable, but they are quiet. I shall never say the word aloud, but I suspect they are to be witches, and if I find one, I shall very much like to ask her for her story. Theological book from Charles' personal collection, Formicarius by Jonas Nieder. Or Nieder. Uh, this one. Theological book from Charles' personal collection, Fortalitium Fidei 
by Alfonso Despina. Okay. <laughs> and then I check this. Remember when he started to wear these to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. <laughs> it's getting bold. Like Asmund Gold. Do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions foreshadowing is someone behind this. Who is the real target and what calls his anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest, and this cannot perdure. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Charles's ghost might give us answers. We should investigate the cemetery where he was found. All right, let's go to the cemetery. Uh, there. Are you leaving already? We need to investigate the cemetery. This is Charles's. Esther, you know we can help you sort through things around the house. I don't know that I'm ready for that, but I'll keep it in mind. He has some water in that. Looks like he's stuck or something. Oh. <laughs> Don't run in the house. Oh, I'm going to. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him, too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. Will you be all right? I doubt it. But I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles we shall. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye. You too. Find the location of your next objective. Open your map. So there's the cemetery. Do I like make a... Oh no. Okay. I'm not needed. Hey, there's also like a... Oh, there's a shop. Okay. Well, let's say for now. Did I did I do it or okay, I did. Hey, what's that? So close to town. Hey, cemetery sign. The cemetery is closed by order of the governor. Hmm, not close for me. Where are you leading me? Maybe. More of you? You do not belong here. Okay, you can't. Maybe there was like a parry system or something. No one is safe here. Find the place where Charles died. Let's first see what's here. Look at that. Alright. Okay, the voice. Oh, what's this? 
this. As a banisher, you can feel places or objectives that be marked by ghosts. When in close proximity to, to these elements, your bane wings will be triggered and lighting up with an orange hour. Walk around to find the sword. Uh, so that's happening right now, right? I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Um, yeah, let's see. Many dead in more recent years. Oh, uh, it's turned off, but I still want to look here for like stuff. Look, there are some stuff. Oh, it's nice to have some loot. But we can't get up there, so let's go back. <clears throat> okay. Oh, what's this? Charles! Hey, we found him. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. Something is not right. Oh, what was that? I thought there was some stuff there. Yeah, we can go that way and we can go that way. Let's go first here. Another one. That's the big, so you can get there. Okay, then we have one more way to find out. Oh, what was that? Wait. A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Banishers can perform rituals. The nature of the side that binds which ritual shall be performed. Performing a ritual consumes resources. Even if you select an incorrect ritual. Ooh. To reveal the memories, you need to perform a hearkening ritual. Hearkening, all right. So I have to do this one. Mixing pyrite with those plants I found should work. In each stain hides a story. <coughs> In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! Be gone! You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. The lady in the white killed him. Damn it. That thing he faced. What was it? Hmm. Okay. Let's collect some stuff here. Everyone buried here died in 1677. A previous epidemic? I can get in here. What's this? Oh! What is this? Oh! 
where those? All right, I think we're done here. Next mine, the place where Charles died. I've done that, right? Don't I? Probably not. Ah, my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Charles Bible. Charles Bible found half buried in the mouth of the cemetery. It's opened at job 7, 13, 15. 13. When I say my bed shall comfort me, a couch shall ease my complaint. 14. Then those cares me with dreams and terrifies me to visions. 15. So that my soul choose strangling and dead rather than my life. This tie is those with the essence of Charles' ghost after a closure performed by Antea. The bond between the ghost and the world will be served for good. The yeah, so we have the Bible now. Ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave then. Okay, let's get to his grave. It showed me that I had to go to the left on the compass and then went back to the right. Um, manifest the shade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. Antea, here, at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Before you died, what? you investigated the curse. What I did you learn? I didn't even present that our it, okay? is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dantea. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. And here, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. But <coughs> the might of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. Um. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. 
and just as relentless. Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising, despair growing. There were so many dead, Antea. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose? Where might I find them? They vanished. <laughs> in the days before my death, perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. If you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused, as if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? I don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as Esther. My dear Esther. I did not see its true face, but I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit <coughs> is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No, I must remain. Esther <coughs> needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it have made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your... Antea, wait! Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. 
I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then I'll go to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya gave him the care he needed. Cannot save. My Charles. Where do you think he is now? He's. I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. <laughs> if I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. I can still not save. We're almost at home. At her home. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'll miss him dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. All right, we saved the game. I'm gonna stop here. I like the storyline a lot. I like the game a lot. We're gonna make a part two. Uh, I think next week we're gonna do that. Thanks for watching every uh, uh, for everything. Watching for the stream. Uh, I'm gonna also um, upload this on on YouTube for part one. Gonna make part two, part three, etc. Until we finish the game. Because I really want to finish this game. Because the storyline is really good. I like the game a lot. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And as we say in Dutch, tot later.